And that's right. amazing too. And I, I really want to talk about the art stuff, but can I go back real quick? I want to go back in time to the Caballero. The trick. The trick. Yes. How did that even come about? And when did they actually name it the Caballero? Caballero. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to say. <laughs> it's a tongue twister for me. Caballero. Uh, Caballero. Caballero. So it was, ne- it was never... No, I mean, say it five times fast. You know? <laughs> Caballero. Yeah. Um, it, was, uh, it was never called the full cab. Never called the full cab. No. Uh, street skaters coined it okay. that later. How do you feel about that? I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do jokingly correct and say sure, hey, it's yeah. called the Caballero. Caballero. I, and yeah. I and I want to say that because people think the half cab came first, but it was the Caballero that came first, and then the trick, the half cab came afterwards. So the Caballero was invented in 1980 <clears throat> during the Cold Cup series. Remember, I told you the first contest was Oasis. Yep. Second one was Big O. Third one was Colton. Okay. And then between Colton and Marina Del Rey, um, I'd seen this skateboarder at Winchester. It was a pro skateboarder named um, The Fly. That was his nickname. Robert <laughs> Shaffley. Oh. Shaffley. Hmm. He Marty. Rode, for, rode for Tunnel. What's that? Not Marty McFly? No. Mar- <laughs> the Fly. The Fly. I don't know why I call him The Fly. <laughs> but um, very famous pro skateboarder in nor- mm-hmm. Northern California. Um, I was up sitting on top of the, the Clover Bowl, okay. looking down at the Pro Bowl. And he was doing this trick where you come up and you slide to fakie. We call that a RB slide based on Rick Blackheart. Mm-hmm. He'd come around and one of his favorite tricks was fakie 360 kick turn. Right fakie at tile. Okay. Kick turn and uh, then come okay. down. Hmm. Well, at one time he went up, he did a fakie and he pumped super hard and he went up in the air and it flailed. In the air. Okay. Like he hit the coping and it flailed and he just jumped down. Um, I looked at that and at that time I already knew how to do fakie ollies. Where you, that was one of the tricks back in the 80s was okay. a fakie okay. ollie. Okay. Up backwards, hit your bonk, your back wheels, come back down. Mm-hmm. And I saw him do that trick and I'm like, I wonder, mm. just right there, I wonder if I can hit the back wheels and spin my whole body around suck my feet in and come all the way around right. and land. And at that time of the Gold Cup series, we were striving to have a new trick at each contest because that would just bump up your scores. Right. And I learned that from Eddie Alguera, <clears throat> who I was competing against at that time because he was one of my heroes back in the day, before I even got sponsored by Powell. Hmm. And going to that Escondido contest where I met Stacy, I mean, he's, he was the guy that we saw in the magazines, Mr. Progressive oh, invented okay. all these tricks. World champ. Uh, <laughs> world champ. He was inventing um, the frontside rock and roll. Um, the Algarial was a 360 hand plant. The slider to fakie, the fakie ollie. I mm. mean, there was all these tricks. He was, he was so ahead of everybody all the time. And that's who I strive to be. I right. wanted to be progressive. So I learned all these tricks and I learned a lot of the tricks. Uh-huh. Once you get to a certain point when you learn all these tricks, you're like, okay, well, what's next? Hmm. So like, let's try to invent some stuff. Let's try to do stuff that's never been done. And so when I saw that, my buddy do that trick. The fly. The fly. (laughs) 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 Thank you, Robert, for that (laughs) as well. Um, I'm like, I saw it. I'm like, that can be possible, you know? Hmm. And so I tried it. And I tried it and I tried it for a whole month and I would come around and land like three quarters and fall, Mm -hmm. come around, land three quarters and fall. And then one time I hit super hard, sucked my feet and landed three quarters and slid the other quarter around and I made it. Oh, Oh, wow. So I call Stacy up and I go, Stacy, I learned a new trick. And he's like, he's like, what, what did you learn? I'm like, it's a fakie Ollie 360. He's a what? (laughs) It's a fakie Ollie 360, no hands. He's like, you're kidding me. Like, I got to see this trick. Okay. So you're in San Jose. I'm in San Jose. He's down in Santa Monica. Yeah. So here goes contest time. Mm-hmm. We're showing up at the Marina Del Rey Gold Cup Series. 
I guess he told Lance and told Blender okay. about it. So Stacy picks me up at the airport in the Volvo. I get to the park. Lance and I, I just remember this. Lance and Neil are waiting in the parking lot for me, and they want to see the trick. <laughs> <laughs> like, they heard all about it, right? And I'm like, cool. So I'm like going up there, and they're like practically putting my pads on for me. Like, here, let me get your knee pads. Let me get your helmet, like straight like, from the car. Let's go. Stretch it up or keyhole. Let's see this. And so I go up, do a couple of them, and I bail. And then I think I land the second or third one, and they're just blown away. They were like completely blown away. And so you're I, above coping. You're yeah, I was bonked off the coping yeah. and in full. Th- no one had ever done a trick like that ever, like spinning three hundred and sixty like that. So then the contest comes around, and I bail. I didn't even get to the trick in the contest. Yeah, I bail before it. I mean, I've been doing it, practicing it, doing it. I and mean, there's footage of me doing it right. there, but I ended up getting fifteenth place. I didn't even make the cut. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It sucked. Right. I was so bummed. But like people here were, you have this new trick. Yeah. And I couldn't even get to is, it. Wow. The next uh, contest is a month later. Mm-hmm. I get to perfect the trick. Um, it's at Upland and it's that photo that's right there that shot by Glenn Friedman. Oh yeah. A little sequence up yeah. here. Yeah. So that yeah. sequence right there was an original proof from um, Action Now magazine um, that was sitting at Glenn Friedman's house. He gave it to me. Um, they used to make proofs before they printed them in the magazine, mm-hmm. and that's the actual proof from a, the magazine. It's incredible. Thank wow. you and for blessing us with that. Um, <laughs> sign, it, <laughs> sign it after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so at that time, Stacy were making these things called the intelligence reports. Mm-hmm. So he would always talk about, like, like, like there were like the, our zine for who's doing who's what. Doing what and, for our fans, you could be part of the Bones Brigade and you get the intelligence report talking about the team and the new tricks and talk about stuff Rodney's doing, mm-hmm. what Tony's inventing. Oh, so um, it's not only for you guys, it's for... Oh, you get them in the mail. You get them in the mail. You get them in the mail yeah. for okay. everybody. Yeah. Oh. Just got to sign up. Sign and up. And then um, he makes... Like, subscribe. He makes yeah. the one... Um, so I end up winning um, Upland Pipeline with the trick. With the trick. With the trick. Oh, no. So then Stacy puts it on the cover of the um, in Challenge Report and it says Caballero wins the contest with the Caballario. Oh, he coined, he coined it. it. Uh, yeah, because oh. it was the Algarial was a fakey 360 invert. Okay. And so Stacy coined it the Caballero. So when he coined it the Caballero, I, I couldn't get myself to call Say the it? trick my name. I felt so embarrassed, like, oh, I'm the Caballero. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> you do the me, yeah, the yeah. cab. Yeah. yeah. I was still pretty shy back back then, and I didn't know. Like, I'm like, no. So you didn't really you. like I, it at first. What'd well, I didn't it? like it. You didn't embrace call, it. I didn't embrace it because I was embarrassed about it. Right. So I'd always call it the cabal. I mean, uh, the fakey 360. Always. So whenever we would talk about it, and they'd be like, oh, you mean the Caballero, right? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. I think I, you've embraced it by now, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, you know, it was the trick. You know, everybody was trying it. They now. were trying it. So then, um, I guess Lance and, and Neil, I think this was after the, um, the first contest before in Marina, they go back to Whittier and they try the trick. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. They just can't figure it out. So it was either Lance or Neil ended up grabbing the board with his forward hand in between their legs okay, and making it around. Makes it easier to spin. Makes it easier to spin, and and it stays on your feet. Mm-hmm. And hence, that's where um, the the term the gay twist came, mm-hmm. because right. they thought it was termed gay that they had to grab to do this to trick. do the trick, and that's why it was that's right. Why, that's oh. so that's where you get the name the gay twist. Yeah, no way. Yeah. That's why yeah. that has been renamed. Um, I think it's it politically co- politi- <laughs> correct. I guess they can't even say that in snowboarding. Yeah. Right now, yeah. So yeah. But it was the name of the trick. It was the name of the trick. Yeah. And, and but you didn't you start doing it that so way too? What was funny was that that was a new trick. So guess who stopped doing Caballero? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it for the longest time. I was doing the gay twist the whole but time. But why weren't you doing your your trick? Because the new trick was that. Like grab it, yeah. But Grabbing could anyone, it. Could anyone do the Caballero though? The hawk could do it. Oh, okay. And Stob could do it. Oh. Okay, so now I'm getting to where half cab comes. Oh yeah. So, it, which is kind of cool and synonymous, 
Sonoma is that a word? I don't know, but it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. I'm not a smart dude. <laughs> <laughs> I made that word up. But anyway, so um, so that's it's kind of cool. The shoe, uh, it fits. the term of the shoe and the trick all happened in a three year period. You know, right. uh, the Caballero shoe came out three years later. The half cab gets half invented. Cab. We make the half cab. Yeah. Same with the half cab, the trick. So in 1980, I invented the fakie 360 all air. Mm -hmm. And then like three years later, Hawk and Staub are fiddling around and they end up doing the trick halfway. They go up fakie, come suck it up and come down fakie. And they, they named it. They termed it. The half cab. The half cab. Well, that's amazing that they kept your Well, should name. be called the half stab. <laughs> True. Because he invented it. Right. But they, they termed it half cab. But that's amazing. That's a, it's an, it's a... So that's where the word half cab's from. So there's no such thing as a full cab because... That's a cabalario. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I keep but saying if you that want, wrong, but I can't. But if you know, if you, they want to call it a full cab, that's fine. Do you ever? I always hear like uh, someone so, someone doing a nolly caballero. Like, just, it's not possible, dude. You can't do a nolly caballero. It's only fakey. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, have you heard that one before? What do you think? Well, I I, I believe that a caballero or fakey ollie three hundred and sixty for one has to be an ollie, right? And it was started going backwards. Mm -hmm. So you, it was invented that way, so that yeah. it should be kept that way. So when it comes to like wakeboarding, mm -hmm. rollerblading, BMX, what other sport that tries to do a half cab? You're not doing one. Right. Because you have to ollie. You got to ollie. Yeah. And I know I've gotten some grief from the BMXers about oh, yeah? me bringing that up. Oh. Like they think like I hate them or something because yeah. I brought it up. But come on, dude, you're doing a bunny hop. Yeah. You're doing a half bunny hop. Not half cab. You got to ollie. Right. Yeah. You don't ollie on bikes. Cab hop. Fakie 180 bunny hop? Yeah. Cab hop. Cab hop. Cab hop. <laughs> Cab hop. But you know, I mean, it, it, but the, you know, the a lot of these uh, BMXers and everything, like, you know, they take stuff from skateboarding. So skateboarding's cool. Exactly. <laughs> so of course they're going to try to name it the same. Well, it relates to their... It relates. To, it relates to them too, but yeah, they can't ollie specifically though. You can't ollie. Yeah. So what about a nollie cab? Full cab. I don't think so. I would just be a Nolly 360. Nolly 360. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'd love to take credit for it, but <laughs> what about what about <laughs> Caballario right. the other way? Like Figgy front side. Front side cab. Front, front side, side cab. Caballario. Okay. Yeah. All right. That one's that one's tough. You don't see that one too often. Like Dallas. Uh, Bob stuff, Burnquist, right? Tony, and I've seen Bucky do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never done one, but I still got time. Maybe I can Still doing for the on. next video. Yeah. Still got your name on it, though. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So some, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I mean, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's not just, that many people have tricks named after them that have no. stood up to the test of time. And back in the 80s, that's what it was all about, like making up a trick, and then it'd be termed after you, like the Algario, the mm -hmm. Miller flip, right. which is not made by Chris Miller, but Daryl Miller. Mm -hmm. oh. um, you know, and there's been some other tricks named, you know, after Sal the, 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 the McTwist. The, the salad. Salad grind. Salad grind. Yeah. So, I mean, I just, like we said, I just seized the moment, man. Yeah. I saw it. I envisioned it. Sorry I went for, for it. <laughs> you know. It's great. And it just. And went, back, back then, those things just happened naturally. It wasn't like you're going to like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to nail this trick. It's going to be called, it's going to be named after me, this and that. Like, it just kind of, other people have to name it. You can't name it. It's very organic for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like I said, even when Stacy named it, I, at least two or three years later, I still didn't you call still it the Wow. I was embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. I was embarrassed by it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. know.